but mainly our our uh, impression of this momentous achievement. But uh, I guess if Cronkite doesn't know what to say, don't expect me to know that anything too good. What uh, What did you do today, Mr. Vice President? Well, I was I was home. Uh, I started gluing myself to the tube about uh, an hour before, hour and a half before landing, and I just stayed there. Uh -huh. Uh, we didn't have any formal meal or anything like that. Uh, somebody brought me a box of pretzels to keep me going. And I watched the touchdown, and immediately thereafter, when we were sure things were, were stable again, uh, I did go out and try to play a little test, but the rain overtook me, so I had to quit that. Uh, before you became vice president, and uh, therefore uh, chairman of the President's Space Advisory Council, uh, what were your views toward the space program, which was a uh, a, a democratic uh, a, a initiated uh, program. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to take some exception with you on that one. Uh, the space program really began during the Eisenhower. Well, I'll amend it to say the moon program. Uh, well, naturally, I don't think it's a partisan thing anyhow because uh, people don't think of it in that sense. I've always been a great supporter of it. I can remember back uh, when the Sputnik thing broke. Uh, a tremendous sense of depression that, that I had as an individual, and in talking to other people, I found out they did too. They felt depressed about the fact that the initiative had been taken in a brand new, exciting exploratory field from the United States. And I was very glad when uh, President Kennedy made his decision to, uh, to go with uh, this very visionary idea of putting a man on the moon. I'm a little surprised now that uh, an equally visionary idea that uh, I've simply articulated on behalf of many people in the scientific community is not receiving uh, a very uh, favorable uh, reaction in some quarters. I know uh, Dr. Von Braun is, uh, feels that uh, we should say something about going to the into interplanetary exploration. And from what we know so far, there's little doubt that uh, Mars is the most congenial environment uh, near us. So I think it's reasonable for us to make this a, a projection of putting a man on Mars, certainly by the end of the century. And I think our technology will uh, make it possible. Uh, the the uh, advocacy of the trip to Mars by the end of the century, you made uh, the day of the launch uh, Wednesday. Yes. And you have also referred to the uh, react reaction on Capitol Hill specifically. Were you surprised at the way uh, Mansfield and Kennedy uh, jumped you on that? Not, not really uh, surprised. I, I suppose that uh, their reaction was, was that of people who are terribly concerned about the uh, domestic problem and the drain of funds for it. I said what I said, not uh, representing the administration, but as an individual, although I want to make one thing completely clear. I'm totally confident from my conversations with the president that he is a space activist and that when he receives the recommendations of the task force that I now head, uh, he will make a very far-reaching, uh, optimistic, ambitious decision on the space program. I don't know just what it'll be. I, I know he wants to leave his options open until he's heard from everybody. But don't expect a, a, a bland, conservative decision uh, out of President Nixon, because after all, it was President Nixon, right after Sputnik in 1957, who was the first public official to speak out and when some people were playing down the appropriateness of that effort I, and uh, indicate that he was uh, very much concerned about uh, the United States not lead, losing the leadership in this area. After you made your, uh, your statement about Mars, you went and talked to the launch team at, uh, at uh, Cape Kennedy, yes. and you said, boys, today I bit the bullet for you on Mars. What did you mean by that, sir? I think the Mars thing, Roger, had uh, been in everybody's mind, and everybody was trying to find a fallback position and not say it. And uh, I don't play uh, my life that way. I'm not always looking for a fallback position. I take my risks. I say what I think is possible and feasible. And uh, some people say it's a, you simplify too much, but that, that's the way I've always lived. And I believe this is the time to say we're going to Mars. So I said it. You've said it again. We appreciate your candor and your uh, generosity in coming to, it's been a pleasure to, be, with to uh, be with us. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Walter? The moon planners have a lot of other things that, uh, of course, are being talked about in that uh, space committee that Vice President Agnew now heads. 
I'm sure that the men of the uh, space program are very encouraged by Vice President Agnew's position. Uh, they also are looking forward beyond uh, manned flight to other planets uh, to the large space station uh, orbiting, orbiting the Earth. Uh, this, they believe, is what the Russians are going for, uh, perhaps an orbital space station of as many as 100 men with uh, space ferries taking uh, new crews back and forth to the space station. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston. One minute, 30 seconds, LOS. All systems go, over. Okay. A little flag. That line you see being fed out in our simulation by the man simulating Buzz Aldrin is the tether attached to the collar. It's used to lower and raise equipment to the spacecraft. It's called the LEC. Neil Armstrong on the porch at 109 hours, 19 minutes, 16 seconds. The two hours and 40 minutes of extra vehicle activity, that is, of the walk on the moon, begins with the uh, hatch opening. Any more flight, bud? No, hold it just a minute. Okay. That was at 10 hours, uh, 10.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, so the two hours. 25 minutes of PLSS time expended now. Two hours and 40 minutes, that would... Okay, everything's back to the state in here. Okay, can you pull the door open a little more? Right? Yeah. Okay. And they'd be uh, inside and buttoned up again. If you get the main down, I'm going to pull it down. Houston, Roger, uh, we copy and standing by for your TV. We ought to get the camera then in a moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm trouble with the simulator. It did pretty well in the moon. Okay, yeah. Houston, Roger, we copy and standing by for your TV. Yeah, I'm trouble with the simulator. It did pretty well in the moon. Yeah, <laughs> this shows the Mesa being deployed. It's running a little bit behind in the simulation from the actual timing. He just pulls a lanyard up there. Houston, that uh, drops that. this nail radio check. Neil, this is Houston, loud and clear. Break, break. Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, radio check and verify TV circuit breaker in. Now we should be getting that picture. Roger, TV circuit breaker's in. And space pipe clear. Roger. If we're going to get... There it is. And we're getting a picture on the TV. Oh, great. There it is. TV. Okay. We had a good picture, huh? Uh, there's a great deal of contrast in it, and uh, currently it's upside down on our monitor, but we can make out uh, a fair amount of detail. <laughs> 400 million people are turning up on their heads at the moment <laughs> with those words. Uh, they're supposed to turn that picture over okay, for us electronically. Uh, the uh, opening I ought to have on the camera. Yeah, they turned it over now. There's a foot coming down. There he is. Yeah. There's a foot coming down the steps. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. So there's a foot on the moon, stepping down on the moon. If he's testing that first step, he must be stepping down on the moon at this point. Ten. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. F2, one one sixtieth second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Down there, uh, it's very fine. Boy, look at those pictures. Wow. 
little shadowy, but uh, he said he expected that in the shadow of the lunar module. 